seriously, I mean it. Don't bother building a home gym, it sucks. That is unless you can handle the five things in this video. I'll also show you five simple hacks to deal with these issues, whether you have a full home gym or you're just thinking about building one. But first, let me show you what happened when I didn't used to be able to handle these things and the change it made when I did. I used to have a mishmash bunch of equipment with a super cheap standard barbell and a weight bench that felt like it would break whenever I lifted 40 kilograms on there. I'd work out a few times a month and that was a good month. I now use my home gym four to five days a week, religiously, and I'm lifting more weight than I ever have before at 35 years old with two small kids. So this leads us onto the first issue that I didn't used to be able to deal with, which I wasn't aware of until the other day. I was speaking with my dad and he made me realize I've had this problem my whole life. Hey dad, I just wondered whether I had a good work ethic when I was younger. Um, you, you had no interest in having coaching and that sort of thing, so we didn't push it. You, you did what you had to do, um, but you didn't, you weren't looking to take on extra and really bust a gut either, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Like? Speak soon. Bye. When I was younger, I used to play a lot of football. No, it's not soccer. Football. Fast forward to sixth form, and I found myself playing with older teammates who didn't know me. Before our first game, a mate of mine convinced the captain to stick me in midfield, but it was the half-time team talk from the captain that hit me hard. Beta, you're absolutely smashing it, bruv. But why didn't you show us this in training, son? Bam, reality check. Turns out when the stakes weren't very high, my effort took a nosedive. Self-discipline, nah, I lacked it big time. I skipped training sessions and half-heartedly took part whenever I did turn up. Now this becomes a real issue when you've got a solo gig in your home gym. No audience, no gym buddies, it's just you and the weights. The game changer for me? Habit stacking. I stacked gym time into my daily routine. I'd use it every day when I got home from work, even if it was just for 10 to 15 minutes. This could be different for you though. Maybe it's better going before work or before you eat lunch if you work from home, or it could even be before you sit down in front of the TV. Couple that with tracking progress and then you've got a winning formula. I no longer rely on willpower. I just follow the systems and habits that I already have in place. Now, you can have all the self-discipline in the world, but none of that matters unless you can handle this next thing. This issue can be explained by these holes in our living room walls. These holes used to hold our Ikea floating shelf until I put our Christmas tree up and leaned on it too hard. Going back a few years, I would have lost my mind here. Who am I kidding? I still did. But because of a simple habit my wife and I use, I knew it was gonna be okay. But before I tell you what the habit is, you're probably wondering how this relates to a home gym. Here's the truth. Things will break in your home gym. And at times you'll just need to upgrade things or you just want the new shiny stair climber machine. So what is the habit that we use that helps us to handle this? Well, first of all, just know it's easy to do, but it's also very easy not to do. We simply pay ourselves 10% of our income as soon as it hits our account every month. We don't manually do this though. As we've already established, I have terrible self-discipline and willpower. So what we do is we just set up a standing order for the money to go into a separate bank account. This means we don't ever see the money, just like when you get taxed. But it means when there is an emergency, we know we'll be okay. And if you're thinking, I could never save that much, that's exactly what we used to think as well. So simply start by saving your gym membership or just even 1% of your monthly income whatever seems manageable. And if that's not enough, here are four other super quick tips to make your money work harder for you with a home gym. Number one, research before buying. And feel free to use the Strong Home Gym website with our reviews and guides. Number two is spread the costs. You can always just start out with a set of dumbbells and then upgrade to a barbell rack later. Number three is set notifications on Facebook Marketplace for any items that you're looking for in your area. And number four, buy on Black Friday or major holidays and sales. Once you have your finances in check, you're about ready to hit the next hurdle. So this problem impacts 97.3% of home gym owners. Okay, I totally just made that number up, but I actually would bet it's quite accurate. There is another simple solution to this problem though. For this, I'm going to need these eggs and this candy cane. 
I mean, candy canes are delicious during the holiday season, but you wouldn't exactly throw it onto your spaghetti or salad, right? Whereas eggs can be used in salads, it's needed to make spaghetti, and they can be eaten by themselves in like five different ways. Oh, and quiches, cakes, pancakes, you get the point. All right, Mike, enough talk about food. What's the home gym issue here? Well, once you are able to buy this gym equipment, you'll probably find that space becomes an issue. It's unlikely you have an 8,000 square foot warehouse like Steve to hold everything that you want. So buying versatile equipment is much more useful. Just remember barbells are like eggs and leg press machines are like candy canes. There's also a good chance you have low ceilings and you struggle to swing a cat in your space. So be sure to check out our exercise alternatives on the Strong Home Gym website. We've covered alternatives that are suitable for your home gym for every major muscle group and all of the main exercises that you can think of. But even when you think you've got the equipment perfect for your space, I guarantee the next problem will happen a lot. Have you ever wondered why some people get absolutely jacked in three months and others work out for years without seeing any results? Well, it can be explained by the magpie syndrome. What's the magpie syndrome? Magpies like shiny things. Turns out, so do human beings. We constantly want to buy the latest gizmo that we see on those late night infomercials. Introducing the Ab Dance. Your Ab Dance is right in your home at the ready when you are. Only for them to collect dust in the corner. Or if you're like me, you love to try the latest bicep exercises that you saw on YouTube, only to neglect the movement that would actually make a difference in the 90 minutes a week that we find for exercise. But again, there is a simple solution here. Follow a program. I can't tell you how many people I personally know that go to the gym and don't follow a program or track anything. It honestly doesn't matter what the program is. Following something is far better than doing random exercises each time. But if you're looking something a bit more tailored to you and depending on your experience or fitness goals, you can find one suited for you for free on the Strong Home Gym website. Even when you know you have these four things under wraps, it won't matter if you can't handle the last one. And this can be summed up by my mum's favorite phrase. There's no such thing as bad weather only unsuitable clothing. If you look on any home gym online community, you will find people telling others to just man up about their temperature at the home gym in the winter. Oh, and you're not allowed to wear gloves. And top tip, if you do wear gloves, don't post it in a Facebook group unless you like receiving abuse. Oh, and then these same people also tell you that you should just cherish the heat in the summer. Now, there is a very simple solution to this, but you need to watch this video next to see what the solution is, along with nine other items that most people don't think about when building a home gym. Without these items, none of what I just told you will work. So watch this video next to make sure you've got the